Hello, welcome to my channel. My name's Lyndon. Thank you so much for coming. Uh, and in today's video, I want to talk about or think about a question that comes up all the time with my private clients, which is how do you keep your saxophone clean? How should I clean it? What should I use? What products should I use? How often should I clean it? And all of that stuff. Um, really important to keep your saxophone clean, obviously, because uh, well, they're beautiful, and if you keep them clean, it makes them keeps them maintenance, makes them last longer. And also, if you're putting something with a bit of wood in your mouth and you take it out, it dries, you put it back in, take it out, you need to keep it clean because otherwise it's not very hygienic. So uh, these are really good questions. And the answer is, well, I'm biased. <laughs> I have a bias. So I used to use uh, a fluffy stick which you put down the saxophone. In this country, in the UK, they tended, the, the brand is Pad Saver, and you put your fluffy stick down, and I think the idea is that it, it kind of absorbs the moisture, and I used one of those for many years. And then uh, an old repairer, who was such a character, um, he was a, a lovely, lovely man called Willie Garnet in London, said, I, I really don't like these pad savers, these fluffy sticks, tickling sticks, I think he called them. And he said, have a look down your sax. And I had a look and there was loads of fibers had come off the, uh, the pad saver. And also he said that he felt that when you put the pad saver in, what can, he said that people don't use them correctly. He said, what you want to do is to put it in, uh, let it soak in and then take it out. Because what he felt, which may or may not be accurate, I'm just telling you what he told me, is that when you put them in, any moisture kind of is, is pushing the moisture against the pads, which is exactly what you're trying to avoid. So I said to him, which is probably what you're thinking right now, well, what should you use then? And he said, a pull through. So I started using this method, and this is my pull through, and I think, I've never changed this pull through. I think I've had it for like 15 or 20 years. Seriously, it is such a good quality item. And what it is, is a load of um, what we in the UK call chamois leather. So it's kind of absorbent leather, as far as I can make out, uh, which has got um, a kind of plastic thing which makes it open inside. Um, it's completely self-contained, so there's no metal exposed metal parts. Um, and as you can see, it's on a really long bit of string with some heavy weights in the bottom, and these weights are really heavy. What I like about this particular brand, uh, well what I don't like is it's quite expensive. So this particular brand is about 25 pounds or 30 UK pounds and you could buy a pull through for literally, I don't know, two or three pounds or four pounds or five pounds, but they're not very good in all honesty, the cheap ones. They, I think they, there's a company called Slade make them. Probably gonna sue me now, but I don't like them. They're not very good. They tend to break really easily and they also sometimes have exposed metal parts and that's what you really wanna try and avoid. This brand is BG and what I've done is I've put a link, at least I think I have, because I'm not very techy. I've put a link in the description below to an Amazon link I think, where you can buy one, and, and if you do, I might get a small commission. There you go. Anyway, look, I, even with no commission whatsoever, I would totally recommend this. They last forever, you can machine wash them, and they do a really, really, really good job of, of taking all of the moisture out of your sacks. So after you've played at a gig or you've done a load of practice, you take the weighted end, and th this is why this is good quality, because that's a really heavy weight, you drop it, into the saxophone. When it hits the bottom, you turn it around and then you feed it through your sax like this. You feed it through and as you can see, it starts to pop out the other end. This goes into here and you pull on the piece of string and it absorbs all of the moisture and I do that two or three times. After a gig, I'll clean out my sax. This will be wet then it dries, it absorbs all of, that, all of that moisture, and I can put this in the washing machine and it doesn't disintegrate. So this is made by a company called BG, and I think they're French, and this is an A30A 
pull through for alto saxophone. Absolutely fantastic piece of kit and that's what I use. It's in terms of cleaning the outside of the saxophone, personally I don't. I just wouldn't touch it because you've got lacquer on these beautiful instruments and you just don't want to put anything on the lacquer that might affect it adversely. And if you were going to use anything, it would have to be something really light, just like a soft cloth. I would just use it to take finger marks off. And if you did want to put any product on there, I would so not do it. But uh, maybe stuff that you use to clean windows with, just but just the tiniest little bit. I wouldn't put anything stronger than the super, super, super mild product on the outside of the saxophone. In fact, really, ideally, I'd just brush it, you know, just wipe it down with a, with a cloth uh, to take finger marks or to take marks off it. That is the way that I would clean the body and the inside, uh, the inside and the outside of my beautiful saxophone. So what about, uh, what about the business end, the, the, this end here? Okay, so after you've been practicing for a while, the reed and the mouthpiece are going to be really wet and the inside of the neck or the crook, as we call it, are going to be really wet. And I use, again, by, made by the same company, a really good high quality and again this was expensive and i don't like expensive to be honest but it's really really worth it uh, this is by the same company bg i've put a link in the description below a uh, very very good quality so what you do is you take your mouthpiece off and then you this is kind of a this is stiffer so it's not like string it's like i said probably got some sort of plastic or something inside it and you put it down the neck like this and then that will completely pull through without getting caught on anything and then I could use my finger to put it in and wipe it down, wipe down the inside, wipe down the cork and I can use this as a rag to wipe it down and then I can also use the same cloth to undo my mouthpiece take the ligature off and I've got my reed and I can wipe down the reed from the bottom to the top like this so I can take all the moisture off it. I can put that down and then take this again and that will fit through my mouthpiece and I can put it in like this. I can take it up and pull it down to make sure all of the moisture is coming off. Then I can wipe away on the top of my mouthpiece any little bits of skin or lip uh, <laughs> that have been deposited there, which they do. It's a funny business playing the sax. Uh, so I can give that a really, really good old clean. So that's what I would use. And I have these in my case. And when I'm going to gigs, I don't really carry the classical case, the square case. I use one of these, which is a, a Hiscox case. I've also put a link um, but I strongly recommend his Cox products. By the way, I'm not being paid by any of these people. I'm just giving you my honest opinion. Um, I'm trying to do some sort of affiliate with uh, Amazon, but I don't even know if that works. Um, but, um, but these cases are fantastic. I've had this case forever. It's indestructible, right? It's absolutely fantastic. It's super light. His Cox case, absolutely brilliant. Really, 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 really good holds the sacks in nice and tight. So that's the way that I clean my saxophone and I recommend that way to you. I do, oh, one more thing. Um, started finishing off then, I hadn't quite finished. This is the other way. Now look, I know these are wet wipes, um, but, uh, and I know that wet wipes are not very good for the environment. So mm, maybe if we can get an environmentally friendly one, that would be good. But again, what I might do is if I'm standing here all day and I've teach like six clients in a day and, you know, and halfway through, I just have these on the table and what I might do while they're playing, I might just wipe my reed down and wipe my, wipe my mouthpiece out and just, just clean everything with a wet wipe and dry it off and then rebuild it. So that is the other method that I use. I'm a bit of a wet wipe fan actually for that sort of thing because they just do do the job, but I know they're not tremendously environmentally friendly. 
Right now, I'm definitely finishing up. Thank you so much. People from Canada, Indonesia, Houston, Texas, Indonesia. Who would have thought my videos are being watched in Indonesia? Iceland, right? I'm so grateful to all of you people. Um, uh, all of the positive comments that I've get. Seriously, I've been doing this now. It's now, what, April 2024. And I started this in November. Uh, 2023 I started this massive push to do YouTube tutorials and it's just blown my mind it's gone absolutely crazy the other exciting thing is that um, people have asked me where's your paid content I want to buy your course it's like I haven't got any courses I'm just I'm just I'm just a little saxophone teacher in Bedford in the UK doing private clients I haven't got any content for that sort of thing but then I started to think about it and I thought well if that's what people want that's what I'm gonna do so I've started doing that and I think it's going to take me about a year to do um, so uh, if there's anything that you'd like to see like any suggestions that you have if you want to help me think about this I've got loads and loads and loads of ideas but I'm waffling now but um, I could really use your help thank you all you supportive people I really really appreciate it thank you for buying me coffees keep your saxophones clean see you in the next video take care bye